Bradley's forecast. Welcome back. Well, our warmer than normal temperatures will look to continue at least for one more day, but a cold front's going to arrive on Thursday morning and that's going to send in some cooler conditions for the second half of Thursday going into Friday and at least to about the first half of the upcoming weekend. More on that in just a bit, but first let's get right into it here with the latest model guidance and again, generally quiet conditions tonight. It definitely will be milder, especially compared to the last few nights. Nice temperatures holding in the lower 60s. That's where we'll start our Wednesday morning, maybe a light sprinkle or two during the overnight period, but that would be about it. And then partly to mostly cloudy skies throughout our Wednesday. It's going to be a warm day as temperatures top out in the upper 70s to even lower 80s in spots. Maybe a stray isolated shower throughout the day, but rain chances will sit at uh, only at around 10% or so. Temperatures holding once again in the lower 60s tomorrow night going into Thursday morning. And then here comes our cold front moving in. Looks like sometime on Thursday morning. Timing still a little bit up in the air, but not going to be bringing much rainfall with it. Temperatures may briefly get into the lower 70s Thursday morning, but then we'll actually be falling into the 60s by Thursday afternoon. Winds will be picking up out of the north as well and then turning chilly Thursday night into Friday morning. We'll see those readings dropping down into the 40s. Graph model always a little bit too aggressive, so have to moderate those temperatures a bit, but nonetheless, still with a little bit of a northerly breeze out there first thing Friday morning, we'll likely be feeling like the upper 30s to lower 40s across the area and then generally mostly sunny skies throughout Friday with the exception of some high level clouds from time to time. Winds will be breezy out of the south tomorrow into the afternoon. Could gust as high as 15 to 20 miles per hour, dying down a little bit going into tomorrow night. And then here comes that frontal boundary turning breezier by Thursday afternoon with those winds at times could be gusting as high as 25, maybe upwards to 30 miles per hour. Temperatures tonight again milder, lower 60s for an overnight low, and then warm tomorrow afternoon as we approach the upper 70s to even lower 80s in spots with more of a partly to mostly cloudy sky out there. And then here we go Thursday morning, lower 60s, maybe briefly again getting into the lower 70s Thursday morning. Latest model guidance keeps uh, Lafayette here uh, in the upper 60s, but a little bit milder there across the coastal parishes and then cooler air filtering in behind that front temperatures falling down into the 60s for the second half of Thursday as uh, breezy northerly northerly winds sets in. So milder night ahead, fair to eventually partly cloudy out there. Lower 60s for that overnight low, maybe some upper 50s for northern parishes of Acadiana. And then uh, partly to mostly cloudy skies throughout the day. Tomorrow warm and temperatures staying above normal, upper 70s to lower 80s by the afternoon. Southerly breeze at around 6 to 13 miles per hour. Isolated rain chances for the first half of Thursday. Lingering cloud cover into the afternoon turning cooler and eventually nicer by the end of the week and through the first parts of the upcoming week.